everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Janet, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like, and make sure that you turn that notification bell on so that YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, then welcome back to my channel. I'm pretty excited to share today's video with you guys today. So today I made four different breakfast ideas that you can have on keto that are all keto friendly, they're all low carb, and they are all absolutely amazing. So in this video, I will share um, the stuffed French toast. I am going to share some breakfast bites. I'm also going to make the famous TikTok inside out omelet as well too. And then I'm also going to make a keto McGriddle, you guys. Like if you guys like the McGriddles at McDonald's, you are going to love this. So if that's what you're interested in, then keep on watching. All right, our first recipe is going to be some breakfast bites that I'm going to make. It's a great breakfast idea. Um, these are really, really quick and easy to do and uh, doesn't take much effort and you probably have all the ingredients on hand. So of course you will need eggs. So we have chickens and these are all the eggs. We actually have like over three dozen right now. They have been laying like crazy. They are so happy now that it's getting nice out. So I'm going to take about four eggs actually and I'm going to put them in here and then we're going to put other ingredients with it. So let's put four eggs in here. All right, so now that we have the four eggs in there, I am going to put a little bit of heavy whipping cream in with it as well too. Kind of makes it a little bit more fluffy and adds some more fat to our um, breakfast bites. I'm not gonna measure it. I, I don't measure a lot of things to be honest. Um, but it probably is like, I would say two tablespoons. And then I'm gonna put some black pepper in there because we want it really flavorful. And I'm gonna put some pink Himalayan salt. We're gonna put some garlic salt as well too. And then I always like to use everything but the bagel seasoning. I feel like it just gives a really, really good flavor to these. And then what I have here is I have a mixture of some bacon and some yellow peppers. So that's what I'm going to use with my breakfast bites today. That's what I have on hand. But feel free to use whatever you want if you wanted to do sausage or if you wanted to do um, just a vegetarian one and leave out all the meat, you guys can do whatever sort of ingredients that you feel that you wanna do, but I have bacon on hand, so that is what I'm going to use. And then of course we're going to add some of the shredded cheese. So this is just shredded cheese that I shredded up. I get mine at Costco usually and shred my own. So this is just mozzarella. And then we'll just mix all that up again. And then I preheated my oven already to um, 350. So you can preheat your oven before you get started on this part. And then I also have my pan. This is my favorite pan. I get it. I got it from Pampered Chef. Pampered Chef. And so I just put um, some spray pan on all of that. And then what I'm going to do is just pour this into my pan and then we will put it in the oven. So I'm just gonna use a quarter cup just to kind of scoop it in. Um, I don't like pouring this just because most of the time if you pour it, then all of the heavy stuff stays at the bottom. So I kind of like to just use this so I get a little bit of everything, the bacon and the peppers and everything. And these do puff up a little bit, so I'm gonna fill them like about three quarters full. These freeze really well. They um, are really, really good for on the go. Um, we live out of town, so when I do go to town and I do go to work, um, I usually will grab a couple of these as well. Um, you can put hot sauce with these, I've done that. Um, and then you can put some of the sugar-free ketchup on top as well. That's all keto, makes it really, really good. Or you can even have it like with a side if you're at home. You can have it with a side of um, keto toast and some bacon on the side. Just really versatile and really, really easy. So that's why I like making these. I just find that it's easy to make, it's quick, and uh, you know, 
especially if you're doing some meal prep, right? And we are gonna cook them, we'll check on them in like 10 minutes or so. I will keep you guys posted, but let's put those in the oven. All right, let's dish a couple of these up and give it a try, you guys. I decided just to use my um, my spatula to get it out because I don't want to like mark up. I try not to use like forks or anything on on these on my pan just because I feel like it would kind of dig into it, right? So I always try to use um, like my spatulas or something to get them out. And these are coming out nice and easy as well too, which is really really good. Ooh, they look perfect. Perfect, you guys. All right, I'm gonna dish up actually three of these and then let's give them a taste test. All right, you guys, I just added a little slice of the keto toast um, that I bought. And I actually just bought it from a grocery store here that was keto approved. Um, and I put some of the wow butter because I am allergic to all nuts. So this is what I use. It's actually a soya, soy nut spread is what it is. Um, it comes in creamy or crunchy and it has no nuts at all. So that is what I use. And then for the raspberry jam, I use this stuff here. It is keto friendly. It is raspberry spread and it's really, really good, you guys. And it has... Um, four carbs and three sugar alcohols, which work out to be one net carb. So if you guys are looking for a jam alternative, this stuff is really good. In Canada, I get it from switchgrocery.com, which I always have the link down below in the, in the description. Um, and if you're in the States, I'm honestly not too, too sure, but I'm sure you could probably get it off of like Thrive Market, I think is pretty big down in the States. They might have it, but it's really, really good. Um, my favorite is probably the raspberry. I've tried the blueberry, the strawberry, and the raspberry, and this is my favorite. So I just have um, peanut butter and jam toast along with my three breakfast bites. So let's give it a taste. All right, let's taste the breakfast bites, you guys. So them. Sorry. That's pretty good. I have to taste everything twice before I really know if I like it or not. Mm hmm. That's really flavorful, though. I would have probably put some more bacon in it, to be honest. Um, but it's really, really good with the matzo cheese in there and everything and all the seasonings really really tasty so very easy like i said you guys can even um meal prep that and take it with you um, to warm it up you can even have it at home like i said as a brunch type of thing you can have that with some even bacon and toast right just really easy for something to like make ahead of time and especially for making like large quantities of eggs i always find like if i have company i'm always like frying up more eggs right and this is kind of a good alternative to just like cook them all in a pan and throw them in the oven for like 10 minutes so definitely worth giving that a try as well all right you guys next we are going to make an omelet i just put some butter in the pan and it's just another option for you guys um i know everybody probably knows how to make an omelet but um i just want to try something as well too i'm going to try the inverted omelet so I'm just gonna get this butter all the way around my pan and then I'm going to put cheese on the bottom um, before we put our egg. So I have an egg, two eggs here that are scrambled and I'm going to try this. I don't know how this is going to turn out. Um, I'm kind of nervous, I'll be honest. All right, so we put our cheese on the bottom there. We're gonna let that cook for a while until it gets brown and crispy on the outside before we do anything with it. And I just have this on low right now, so we're gonna leave it on low. What I'm actually going to do while that is cooking is I am just going to put some of my um, seasonings in with my egg. So I'm just gonna put some pepper, 
some pink Himalayan salt, some garlic salt, and some everything but the bagel seasoning. There we go, and we'll just mix that up. And I'll also add, and I'm also gonna add just a little bit of heavy whipping cream, just a splash. Just kind of makes your eggs a little bit fluffy. All right, all right, so this is starting to get a little golden around the edges. So what I'm gonna do next is I am going to put in my egg mixture and then we are going to let that all cook. All right, the egg is on there and we are just going to let that cook on top of the cheese for a while. And I'm actually going to put a lid on that as well. There we go, put the lid on it, let it cook for a little while longer. I still have it on low. All right, so this is getting near done. So what I'm going to do is put my bacon, that's what I'm gonna have on my omelet today. We're gonna to put it on half of, of the omelet. You guys can use whatever filling like I mentioned before, um, or you can just make this a cheese omelet, whatever you have on hand. But I love bacon. Bacon is probably my favorite, like out of all the breakfast. Either sausage. I do like sausages as well, too. It smells good. The cheese smells good. I'm hoping it's just not burnt. Everybody knows with my cooking, you just never, you never know. I'm going to turn this off, actually, because everything is done cooking. Finish putting the bacon on there. And I'm not going to add... Actually, I'll add a little bit more cheese, but not that much, because we already have like the outside shell. All right, so let's add a little bit more cheese. There we go. All right, now let's look it over, you guys. This is what is going to be interesting thing oh okay it's holding oh yeah just is going to be a little bit of work to so make sure that you don't break it i'm just going to take apart the whole thing there we go okay now we're going to fold it over Ooh, look at that a nice crispy shell you guys that is done perfect all right let's plate that up Wow, I'm actually surprised that that worked. All right, you guys can pair it with a little bit of fruit. Like I said, you can have berries on keto. Just make sure you limit it. And yeah, I think this is an excellent breakfast, you guys. You can also have it with a slice of keto toast if you would like. I don't put ketchup with my omelet, but you can have the sugar-free ketchup as well too if you would like on the side. But let's give this a taste test because this looks amazing. All right, you guys, let's taste it. It looks so good. Mmm. You guys, you guys will never go back to regular omelets after you've had this. And I like it because you can kind of like grab and go as well too, right? I think what makes it... I think what makes it so good, to be honest, is the outside like 
cheese, the crunch, because it gives just a different texture than just having like a regular omelet, right? And it gives it a little bit of crunch. So make sure you guys try this next time that you make an omelet. And the key is to be patient with the cheese when you're frying it and make sure that you have it on low because it did take a little bit longer than what I expected. Um, but it was totally 100% fine. So I would recommend just being patient with it when you're cooking it and make sure that you put a lid on top of, um, when you put the egg over top of the cheese, make sure you put the lid on because I think that really, really helped as well too to cook the egg faster so that the cheese didn't burn. But 10 out of 10, you guys. All right, you guys, we are going to make some McGriddles, keto McGriddles using chaffles. So, I'm just going to set this aside. I just plugged it in, but I am going to double my recipe. Um, I will have my chaffle recipe linked down below. I'm also going to make it with you guys, but I also will have it linked down below. And so let's get started. So first, I'm going to put two eggs and I'm going to beat those eggs lightly. There, you can see a little bit better with what I'm doing, hopefully. Okay, so we have our eggs, then we will need, then we are gonna need two teaspoons of our coconut flour. Also, you guys can use almond flour. I'm allergic to all nuts, like I had said, um, but you guys are welcome to use the almond flour. The alternative, the amount, because it's not the same amount that you will be using, but it'll be down in the description as well for you guys. All right? Then we're gonna do a cup of the mozzarella cheese because I am doubling this recipe. All right, then we are going to wanna to put in one teaspoon of baking powder. So this is a half a teaspoon measurement. So I'm gonna do two of those. There we go. And I'm going to uh, add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt. I'm not going to add um, any of the pepper or anything like that because this is kind of going to be like a sweeter chaffle in a sense, right? Because we are making the McGriddle and that's kind of a little bit sweeter. So what we are using for the sweetener um, is we are going to use this sugar-free syrup. I ordered it off of Low Carb Canada um, online here in Canada. Um, so it does have five total carb and five of the molotol. So now some people are really sensitive to sugar alcohols. So um, there is other al alternatives, I know. Um, but if you guys aren't, which I am not, you guys can use this. So the recipe calls for one tablespoon. So I'm going to put two in here because I am doubling it up. All right, then we are just going to mix that all together. All right, so that is all mixed together. So now what we're going to do is we are going to put it in our chaffle maker. So I'm so happy I got this bigger one. This is going to help me tremendously. So what I always do is I always put a little bit of cheese on the bottom and on the top. It just makes it extra crispy, which I like. So we are gonna cook these all at once. You don't need to spray the pan or anything. Um, it doesn't stick, but just make sure that you guys aren't like lifting and checking it. That's the problem if they do fall apart, is that what will happen is you'll be like lifting and looking and that's when it kind of like all falls. All right, so what I like to do is I cook mine for four minutes and make sure during that four minutes is that you're not lifting it up to check on it or else it will fall apart. So make sure that you wait um, the full four minutes. 
All right, you guys, it has been four minutes. And like I said, that's just my preference. That's how long I like to do it for. And let's see how these turned out. Ooh, not too bad. It overflowed a little bit, which was kind of weird. Okay, let's take those out. We're we'll on plug it. There we go, nice and crispy on the top and the bottom. We're just gonna let those cool. Just be careful when you're taking these out. For some reason, these ones are kind of a little bit more delicate. I don't know if it makes the difference because of the of the uh, sugar-free syrup, maybe, but they feel a little bit more delicate. All right, you guys, the bacon is done. I finished cooking the egg and on the side, I just have like a sugar-free jello and a little bit of avocado um, just to get some extra fat in there. Um, but I am going to put my bacon on top. You guys, like I said, usually it's with sausage, but I don't have any sausage right now. So bacon will have to do, and I love bacon anyways. So it'll still be really, really good. It'll be nice to get like that salty and sweet. Um, It'll be really, really good. All right, there we go. And that is it, you guys. So also what you can do is, well, what I would probably do and what I will do is just pour a little bit of the sugar-free syrup over top and that is going to be absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna do that a little bit and then let's give it a taste test. You guys seen the final product? Like, oh my gosh, does that ever look delicious? Looks absolutely amazing. I always liked the McGriddles from McDonald's um, and now you can keto -fy it, you guys. You can literally keto -fy anything that you really, really like. You just have to be creative. So let's give this a taste test. It is going to be messy. And you know, <laughs> since you guys seen me in, in the last clip when, you know, I put food on myself, it's gonna be messy, but I wanna taste it. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at that. Like, tell me that doesn't look. I think what makes it is the syrup, is the sugar-free syrup that you put on top of it. It's absolutely delicious, you guys. You guys have to try this. Even if you're not a fan of the McBr McGriddles, this is even better than the McGriddle. And I'm not even kidding you. That is delicious, you guys. You guys have to make it. It's amazing. So good. All right, you guys, next I'm going to make stuffed French toast. So this is another simple recipe and it looked really, really good. So I thought I would share it. So we're going to start off just with your basic, just with your basic French toast. And we're just going to make French toast and then go from there. So we're going to start with two eggs and then we are going to lightly a tablespoon maybe. And then of course some cinnamon. I like lots of cinnamon. And I'm also going to use a splash of vanilla as well, too. There we go. Now mix that all together. Perfect. And we are going to get our frying pan going. I'm going to put a little bit of butter in the frying pan. All right, so we're just going to put that in there a little bit. it around so it covers the whole pan. What we're going to do is just dip our bread into our egg mix mixture and then put it in our frying pan. I have the frying pan uh, about on medium. And this is just some keto bread that I got from my bakery at um, my local grocery store. 
So you guys can use whatever sort of keto bread that you have found that you can make French toast out of. Flimsy. There we go. So we are just going to cook that up just like we would regular French toast. All right, my French toast is all done. So I put one piece on my plate. I'm gonna have it with a side of bacon today. And this is my other piece because we are going to stuff the French toast. So if you guys watch um, one of my last videos where I made the keto cinnamon buns, I will actually link that video here. But I realized when I was looking up this recipe that it actually is the same ingredient that I use um, in order to stuff my French toast, which was perfect because um, if you watched the last video, I made too much of the cream cheese icing. So that worked out perfectly. So all that's in here is some cream cheese, swerve, icing sugar, and some butter. Like I said, I will leave this recipe here for the stuffed uh, French toast, but it's pretty much the same ingredients. So I thought that would be a perfect way to use some <laughs> some of the icing that I had um, made too much of. So this is a little bit, it was in the fridge. So we're gonna try to spread it. Um, it's, my French toast is a little bit warm, but it'll be fine. Usually what happens was, is it's a lot more um, like spreadable when you make this um, the first time, like from scratch, but since I had it in the fridge, it's just a little bit hard, but it'll still be, still taste the same and it'll still be good. But when you guys make it, you guys will make this fresh and it'll be a little bit more pliable, I guess you would say. There we go. Ooh, it's gonna be good. All right, so I'm just gonna use that much because this is fairly sweet. That is all done. I am going to top mine with some of my homemade whipped cream and some syrup. So I will show you guys what it looks like when it's all done and then let All right, you guys, this is going to be another messy taste test, but look at that. It looks so, so good. So let's give it a taste test, you guys. This is gonna be messy. I normally don't eat with a hat on, but I'm just tasting it and then I'll eat it afterwards. Can you guys believe that this is keto? Like, sometimes I taste things and I cannot believe that it's keto. Like, I can't believe this is my way of eating. And this is why I choose this way of eating because you don't feel like a diet. It's totally a lifestyle and things that you love, like prior to, you can still enjoy. So good, this filling is so good. I'm going to sit at the table and eat this and take my hat off because it just feels weird to eat with a hat. <laughs> Make sure you guys make this. This is a, a keeper for sure. If you're looking for something sweet, I will have the recipe linked down below, but make sure you guys try it for your next brunch. Your whole family will love this. You can even make this um, just with regular bread for your family. Still have the same stuffing and the same whipped topping and syrup and everything, and your family will absolutely love it. All right, everyone, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I hope that you will give some of those breakfast ideas a try. They all warm up really, really good, and they are all absolutely amazing. The French toast, the stuffed French toast, you guys, I've had like three days in a row now because I recorded this video previously. I've had it every day since I've made it. It is that good, I'm telling you right now. So make sure you give those a try. If anyone tries any of those recipes, make sure that you let me know down in the comments, you guys. I would love to hear if you're liking my recipes and if you enjoy these kind of videos. I try to make all my recipes that I make like simple and easy because I'm not a very good baker or cook, I'll be honest. I usually, you know, get by, but I like things to just keep it simple and that everybody can make. I don't want this big, huge, complicated recipe that you guys look at and that you're just overwhelmed and don't even bother making. All of these recipes were very, very easy, so make sure that you give them a try. Make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. And also make sure that notification bell is on so that YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.